so I'm going to show you how to use the Google Docs table of contents feature to organize your document. And uh, so let's say we've got this document, it's rather long. And really what I, I think about is oftentimes I think about uh, like I have an ongoing list of notes. Uh, so for a committee or more often with my own students. So the idea is I don't want to maintain a fancy website. I have a common document that I'm just going to always add my notes to. And so here we got it. It's right here. And let's say uh, if you zoom in a little bit here, it's got we've got October 10, October 9, 8, 7, 6. So I always put the most common or the most recent day up at the top. So if today was October 12th, I would say, OK, October 12, 2020. Here are the notes, the title of today's notes. All right. And then here is where well, let's just grab some copy. And there it is. There's our notes. All right. And of course, if I want to insert some images, we definitely got to put in baseball. And there we go. So insert our image right there. Looking great. All right. There we go. All right. I'll put them over there. Okay. So he, so here's our notes. All right. Now, what I'm now, if we just keep going and keep adding, this document is going to get really long and really bulky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to always put the most recent day up at the top, right? So if the next day is October 13th, I will then put October 13, 2020, and the title here. All right, and then here's our gobbledy gook for the 13th. Okay. So I'm always going to be adding to the top of the list. And that's one level of convenience, right? So my students always, they all they have to do is just go to the top of the page and that's the most recent set of notes. But I'm, I might want to uh, make things a little bit better and that's where the table of contents comes in. So at the top of the page, maybe I'll put a title. Here are your notes. All right, and oh, let's make that big. Here are your notes. Yay! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table of contents. And I have two choices. One where it, it includes the page number and where it's just blue links. I'm, I'm going to use the blue links because I'm never going to print it. So the page numbers are not important. Now, when I do that, you'll notice I get nothing. It just says add some headings. That's because now I'm going to delete that because and the way I delete, I have a hard time deleting the table of contents. So I put an X above. Notice uh, that outline thing. That's the table of contents. So I put an X above it, an X below it, and then I highlight and then I can delete. All right. So what I need to do is I need to, for each of these dates, I'm going to change from normal text to heading. Now I'm going to choose heading two and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to do that for all of the dates. I'm just going to highlight that and do heading two, heading two, heading two. And there we go. Now, when I go to the top where I want my table of contents to be, I'm going to insert table of contents, the blue links. And look at that. All of these are now there. In fact, I can even hit that to the next page because now my table of contents is right here. So as I, I'm gonna go return, return, return. Let's say we, we're gonna add an October 14, 2020. Uh, let's discuss baseball right here. Now, got the normal text, all right? So here is the information for October 14th, all right? So you'll notice when I go up here, my table of contents doesn't automatically update. What I need to do is I need to click into the table of contents, click the refresh button, and now my link is there. What's kind of cool is I can click on any of these and it becomes a hyperlink down to the direct date. All right, click on that 14th and it goes right down to the 14th. Click on the October 5th 
and it goes all the way straight down to my October 5th. And that is an ongoing, so I'm gonna have this ongoing table of contents. Now, the reason I chose heading two is because let's say I'm gonna scroll down and oh, let's say October 9th, I'm just gonna invent a story here and call this trimester one. And I can highlight that and I'll make that, I'll make that heading one. All right, now you'll notice heading one is larger than heading two. And then when I go back up to my, my table of contents and refresh the screen, oh, look at that. I now have a new formatting to reflect the fact that we've got heading one and a bunch of heading twos. So I could right here call this try Mr. Two and change that from a heading two to a heading one. And then I can go back up and refresh and look at that. I now have a um, really organized set of notes and it's really easy because all I have to do is just edit this one document and refresh the table of contents. And I have this really ongoing, useful ongoing tool for my students so they always have access to all the notes or all the information that I want.